Hello and good evening, Live Talks Live Nation. Today with a new day with me, my name is Anita and I'm going to talk with you today about growth. One thing we know about life is that it's ever changing. Sometimes we are up and sometimes we are down. My question to you is, are you going through life or are you growing through life? You see, when you accept the reality that nothing can ever be the same, that you have already understood in that moment the principle of growth. We know life changes on a constant matter, but what we don't know is how to grow through really, really difficult times. I'd like to share with you my story because I've just come out of a really difficult time myself in my life and I've grown out for, from it in a really, really strong manner. We had two cancer cases in our families. Um, at some point we weren't sure if this person is going to survive or not. I quit my job, I moved back home to take care of that person that got sick. Of course, in that moment, I cut off my life income, I cut off my private life in terms of seeing my friends, doing my dancing, doing my work and doing everything that comes with it. I went home to being a cook, being a nanny and being a nurse. But you know what happened throughout this time, even really in life knocked me down and I was crying every night basically and every day throughout this time, not knowing what life is going to bring tomorrow. I understood one simple principle, that I had to understand what was going on and that I had to accept what was going on. Because life throws things at us. Sometimes it's in our control, but most of the time it's not. So the only thing we can do when it's not in our control is to accept it and to learn to grow with it. Because you see, everyone can be happy when things go well, when your family is healthy, when you have a job, when you have income, when you have a roof over your head. But it's really, really tricky and challenging to be happy and to grow when time, when time is really tough and you don't know what to do and you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. You see, the real challenge, the mental and spiritual growth when it takes place is when you're knocked down. And I mean really when everything that can go wrong goes wrong. And this is when Murphy's Law really kicks in. And you're sitting there and you're thinking, what's next, right? But you see, ad adversity introduces itself to you again and again and again. The only challenge in this point is how well you confront it. And in that matter is where growth really takes place. You can see it almost as a date with yourself, right? You get newly introduced to yourself. You ask yourself, who am I? What do I really want in life? What can I learn from this situation where I'm in? Because you have to make your mind a fertile ground. And our coaches this week have shown you great examples of how to plant your seeds, right? So you have to be open, you have to keep learning, and you have to keep growing. Because our universe is governed by universal laws, whether we want them or not. They are laws based on physics. And I'd like to share two of them with you today because they are very, very much related to growth. Number one is the law of polarities. Law of Priority states, if you want to know black, you have to know white. If you want to know love, you have to know hate. So therefore, that means if you're going through difficult times, it's going to pass. But in order for you to grow out of this situation and to understand what your next step in life is, you have to go through these difficult times and suffer and really struggle because this is where you're going to grow. You're not going to grow when times are easy and when everything is going great, but you're going to grow when you face your challenges and you step forward. The second law is the law of rhythm. Okay, so there is a season to sow and a season to reap. And you can't do both in the same time. And as my coach has already told you this week, if you plant your seed in the soil, it takes its time to grow. So you gotta be patient, nothing comes overnight. So if you're going through a difficult time and you don't really know what it is that you can learn out from this because you just can't see the forest from the trees, you have to understand that everything happens at the time it's supposed to happen, okay? And there are three P's that I went through in my life and the challenges that I occurred that I took for myself and that I actually implement every day of my life. And I'd like to share them with you. Maybe they can help you in understanding how you can actually implement the growth mindset every single day in your life. So the first P is patience. Nothing comes overnight again. So whatever it is that you're going through, if you already have set your mindset to growth and you know you're facing the challenges and you're accepting your situation, still be patient with yourself. If you have a day where you feel low, where you want to cry, when you're tired, go through it. Accept it, be patient, be kind to yourself. 
The second P is persistence. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Even if you stand up, life knocks you down again. You stand up, life knocks you down again. It doesn't mean you have to stop and give up. Just keep going because you know it's going to get better. And the third P is perseverance. That means overcome setbacks. Maybe today you're motivated to follow whatever it is that you set your mind to in order for you to grow. But maybe in another day you feel like, I'm tired, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to grow. Nobody asked me if I can grow, if I want to grow, right? So you have to overcome those setbacks and move forward and push forward every single day, no matter how hard it might be in your situation. Yeah, you have to maintain your motivation. It's basically like training your muscles, like going to the gym. You're going to the gym maybe two, three, four times a week to train and maintain your muscles. And it's the same with your mindset. You have to work through it every single day. Set your intentions every single day. So maintain your motivation and do whatever is necessary for you to do that. Yeah, And have faith in yourself. It is truly important to understand that you are a human being after all. So whatever you're going through, there are challenges. And maybe even if you're impatient at times and you're struggling, have faith that you will overcome it because this is what's going to happen eventually. And with all of this being said, you know, there is an immense payoff when you grow because everything in this life is growing, either with you or without you. But the payoff, if you really grow through your life and not just go through your life, is a life-altering shift that happens. And it happens in who you are, in how you think, how you believe, and how you behave. Because I had a client the other day that was crying after a breakthrough and said, I am so, so happy that I never have to go back to my old mindset and to my old life because I'm really happy now. And I think if growth is worth anything, then that's shift that changes your life. And I am one person today, right? So growth happens obviously in numbers. Today you're one person, tomorrow growth might be two people, the day after it might be three people and four people and five and this is and six and seven and this is what growth is you start with one person and you end up with an immense new life this is life talks live everyone this is my lovely fellow coaches hello hey, hey, hey. thank you for joining hey, hi. <laughs> I hope you liked our talk and our little surprise tonight. Please visit our website at lifestalklives.com. Go to our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube account. Like and share our videos. We love to hear from you. God bless you, and we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye. Bye.